Hi guys, this is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the flagship model of Samsung for the year 2011. That has come with the Android Ice Cream Sandwich, the ICS 4.0 operating system. This was the first mobile phone that came with the Android 4.0 OS. And there were many other phones that have come with the same operating system, but this device hasn't still ship, shipped to India. So the Indian users will still have to wait for this device to, device to officially ship to this country. And this is the 750 mAh battery. Mm, this is a pretty thin device and this is a 5 megapixel camera with the flash. This is the same uh, uh, specifications that we have seen in the uh, Samsung Galaxy R. The Galaxy S2 had the 8 megapixel camera so that was a bit more advantage for the Galaxy S2 users and uh, the back panel is similar to the S2, the matte finish. So let's start up with the phone. Insert the battery and then close the back panel. This would be a few click, click sounds. You need to ensure that there are no gaps left between the back panel and the actual phone. And once you are done with everything, you need to click on this power key. The phone vibrates a little and here's a Google logo. And these are the graphics being shown for the first time to show that the phone is starting up. And it is upgrading is the message being shown there. So this is a lock screen. And these are the home screens. These are the various multiple home screens. You can find which home screen you are on by checking on this thin bar. As of now you are on the second right. This is the extreme right home screen second and this is the middle home screen there are five home screens totally one has the shortcut keys for uh, various connectivity options and this is the clock widget and a couple of other app shortcuts so the three touch sensitive keys are here itself on the screen this is the back one this is the home and this is for uh, the recent applications that have been opened in the phone this is the notifications panel There are pretty few different things that you would notice from the gingerbread operating system. This is the applications list and uh, there are a few pre-installed applications that have come with the Galaxy Nexus. One is the Google Talk, YouTube and uh, the People application, the News and Weather app, the Google Plus application, uh, this is the Gmail application. These all are the Google applications that usually come with every Samsung phone that has the Android operating system this is the Android market for uh, the applications uh, downloading and purchasing this market would be upgraded to play store when you are upgrading for the next time and these are the widgets that have been installed uh, on the home screens or you could install on the home screen whenever you wish to go to settings we'll check about the version of operating system this is the Android 4.0.1, the ICS uh, Ice Cream Sandwich operating system. The haptic feedback is pretty good when we are clicking on this touch sensitive keys. Haptic feedback has been changed to vibrate on touch name. You can check out this last option. Now it won't provide any haptic feedback, there won't be any vibration but the touch sensitivity is uh, pretty neat it responds to the touch very easily and this is a 720p display so what you notice here is the applications and widgets are in uh, the various uh, continuous pages 
once you are finished with the application with the pages then it would automatically take you to the widgets pages where there are various widgets that you can you could install for your home screens this is a photo gallery touch and hold to pick a widget so this is what you touch and touch and hold now go to any home screen drop it here it will have the options images from an album shuffle all images and choose an image so there are no photos right now we haven't captured any so it would take time we need to capture a few pictures so that it can show it here let's check out the camera quality Samsung phones usually don't have any dedicated camera key unlike the Motorola phones and uh, the other devices Nokia is one of those uh, which has a dedicated camera key for their phones but Samsung doesn't have any dedicated keys so this is the camera 5 megapixel camera you need to tap to focus as it shows there is an autofocus but uh, it is better to focus manually and then later on you can uh, click on it after the focus is done this is the zooming zooming to a certain level of around 40% would uh, still give you a clear picture and as you see this is an instant click it clicks and keeps saving the photos and so you don't need to waste your time go, um, going and checking the pictures and taking the next one you can take multiple pictures at the uh, within a few seconds this is auto flash So this is the gallery. The picture is pretty neat for the 5 megapixel quality. So the camera is uh, 5 megapixel though but still the quality is pretty neat so you don't need to check for an 8 megapixel camera for the phones uh, this was a camera widget the gallery widget we were talking about as the photos are added you can see a stream roll of pictures here you checked it just move it and it will take you to the next pictures this is just shuffling of the pictures the same pictures would uh, repeat if there are a few, uh, less number of photos available so overall the operating system is very neat uh, the new 4.0 ice cream sandwich operating system is a lot better than the gingerbread but still people would uh, find it a bit uneasy for using it for the first time if they were using the gingerbread for a long time this is the dialer call log and these are the contacts and these things would be usually the same that we have seen on the previous versions of the operating system this is the messaging application we'll talk about the entire review and uh, the various applications of the ICS very soon in uh, other videos keep checking out the channel thank you